customer base, okay? So let's talk about some training time. Now, um, sampling for success is what we're talking about today. You know, the, the biggest cosmetics company in the world, in the United States, the direct sales company was built with samples. And <clears throat> they understood the importance of that and um, they're, they're just, they remain just a huge company in the industry now. Um, I know several other companies that, you know, do sampling. And um, I mean, I just have gone through my years with the direct sales industry and either um, made the samples or the company had the samples. So right now, we don't have samples that we can order, but we can make them. So that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about the importance of sampling and how that can benefit you. So these are some statistics that's important for you, um, all of us, to understand why I'm talking about this, what I'm basing this on. And so I've done some research and, and gone through some recent um, surveys and, and studies that were done, consumer studies that were done on how the importance of sampling, of company sampling. So one of, one of the easiest ways to get new customers is to give your prospects and your customers free samples and follow up with them to ask how they like it or ask them if they will try a sample and give you a review on it. And they usually will. I mean, and just tell them, I just want the, your honest opinion of this. They'll either like it and order it, or it may not be up their alley, but you're getting that product out there. You're getting that information out there. So let me share with you my last two samples that I gave out, which was, oh, about a week and a half ago, resulted in $307 in sales. I gave out a foundation sample, and I gave out some samples that I had made for the Ageless series. And so that was, a really, that really great order from just two sampling situations. You can really build a lot doing this. It's so simple and it's so easy. So let's look at some more of those stats. According to market research, beauty samples are the third largest driver of full size product purchases. People try it and they buy it. How many times you go into you know, like the mall or whatever, you're going up to a beauty counter. What do they have for you? They have samples. They know that that's going to sell. You're going to take that home. You're going to love it. You're going to come back and buy it. That, or you're going to try it before you ever leave and purchase it while you're there. So here's another one. In just one month, a company doubled its unique users compared to the same month in the, the previous year. They offered a sample to the first 5,000 people who signed up on their site. That's all they had to do was go and sign up on their site and they were gonna get a free sample. Well, I'm not asking you to um, offer 5,000 samples, you know, well you can if you want, but um, you can do something similar to that. You can create like a monthly plan of how many you wanna give out and and maybe that's 10 or 20 or 30 or 50, whatever it is, but you'll be able to decide that and start, you know, adding people. This is one way we can do that is to offer that. And when you send those out to people, we're talking about a, a flat sample and um, for 63 cents, you know, it, it'll fit in a regular mailer if we make flat samples of things. So we're going to talk a little bit about more about that too. Like for instance, like blush. It's so easy to make blush samples, you guys. You just take, I'm gonna show you the little zip bags that we have, and you just take a cotton pad and you put that blush on there, and they are able to apply that blush right out of that little flat bag. It's not very big at all. It's just the width of that cotton pad. So, the, very easy to make those. So a blush is one of the things that we can do in there to make a flat sample. Then here's some more stats. 65% of consumers purchased the product they had sampled at an event. When asked what influenced their purchase decision, 78% replied, 
They gave me the opportunity to try it out first. That's key right there, the sampling. Here's this one. When asked what would influence or what would induce you to try a new product or brand, 73% of consumers replied product samples. So there we see that 78%, 73% right in there again with those samples. 81% of consumers said they would try a product after receiving a sample. Those are huge numbers, right? Did you know this? Oh my goodness, until I started doing the research, I knew it was important because I've done it for years, but I didn't know the stats on it, and this is super exciting. So decide uh, your monthly mailing budget and determine your offer. So like if you're gonna give out 20 samples, the cost for stamps is that, uh, for that is gonna be $12.60 to send out. So you wanna look at that and determine what's in your budget, how you wanna to try to do that. And then send these out. So you're gonna post an offer like on your social media sites, you can send it on an email. You can be handing out um, little cards uh, to people when you're out and about. And this is what you're gonna say. The first 20 people who create their account at my website will receive a free sample from me of whatever you're gonna give out. No purchase necessary. As soon as I see your account pop up, I'll put a sample in the mail to you. So it, that's just very, you're not asking them to purchase anything. They're gonna get a free sample, so there's no pressure there. And you're gonna have their contact information, everything's gonna be put into your back office account there so that that customer is tied to you. It's when they get the sample is when you're gonna start seeing results of doing this, okay? They get that sample, they try it, they go, ah, oh, I'm gonna go over there. They already have a customer account and they're more likely to place an order then. So some of the sample examples are our best-selling uh, moisturizer um, that contains the youth molecule. We'll talk about that more in a minute. Or our popular tinted moisturizer. Those are easy ones to make up. You decide what samples you want to make and distribute. You guys, we can do everything. We can do hair care samples. We can do send out samples of the toner. Toner samples, super, super easy to make. So, and you know what? Here's the thing about it is that, well, you know, especially if you're really busy and you just want something that you can do fast, this is a great marketing tool. You can make samples you can make samples while you're listening to a podcast. You can make samples while you're watching TV. You can take a half an hour and make samples up. So make as many as you can of one product and that's what you're gonna be promoting. That's what you're gonna be using. Fun, fun. Okay, so how do we do this? So we, you can use this graphic to send to your clients. Join me at my website. Just click on more that's in the top menu when they get onto your website number two click on become a customer so when they click on more that that down menu pops up they click on become a customer and they go fill out the information it's as easy as that super simple or with their permission, you can add them yourself in your back office. So you just go into your back office, you click on customers, go to my customers, and the uh, my customers info page pops up and you click on add customer right there. And then you're just gonna fill that form out and then click complete registration. And there you are, you have put that in there. All you have to do is ask clients, hey, can I put you you know, in there? Can I put your information in there? So when they make a purchase from you, especially like if you're doing an in-person party and they're not ordering off the website, like if you're ordering that product and then delivering it to them, then you're gonna wanna ask them if you can go ahead and do this. Okay, so that's how we add them ourselves, add our customers ourselves. So let's talk a little bit about the perfume 
samples and how to make some of these samples. I shared this on our Facebook page earlier this week. So perfume samples, here's what you need. You need, I use the little two by two inch zip bags. Um, you can get larger bags to do this. There's one and a half inch by two inch I found on Amazon. Um, <clears throat> so those work really well too. You can also find them in the craft section um, at your store or, you know, like at, like any craft store or Walmart, you know, has them too. And so, um, the other thing is you can find them at restaurant supply stores and that's where I get mine. I get mine at the restaurant supply store. Hello. So restaurant supply stores are good for other things too. You're going to need to do perfume sample round or square shaped cotton pads. You cut those into force. You are going to apply um, the product label um, and address labels to the front and back of the bag. And we're going to show and I'm, here's where you're seeing that right there. So what I'm making are templates for us to be able to just print out. And you can, um, they're Avery um, labels so that you can, you know what to print them on, you know which ones to get. And then you just stick them on the bag. And then I have my address label that I put on the back of it also. So that they can reorder, they can contact me, they can do all of those good things. Um, and then I take a little, I take a little, um, piece of um, tape like I actually just use the packing tape and put over these and that just seals it in put a piece of that packing tape over there and it's clear so they can see right through it and the same thing on the back over that so that it's waterproof and it just helps it not rub off or anything like that very fast very easy to do you can make up a bunch of these keep them in a little like zip vinyl bag or, or a ziploc bag in your purse and when you're out and about you just hand those puppies out because people like fragrance they like to smell fragrance that's gonna get your fragrance business going okay let's talk about the packaging for it so here's the little Ziploc bags this is the 2 by 2 inch this is um, a 3 by 2 inch that I have right now and this is a little hinged polycon you can find those seen them on Amazon you can there's companies that have those too that you can order them from I'm trying to find some new resources for that very small that's really good to put um, foundation in are these ones because they really snap tight they snap tight shut so um, the other thing too is the little tiny the tiniest paint pots that you can find you can find those in the craft section and they are they are um, attached together and what I do is I just get those and I just trim that off sharp little pair of scissors just trim that off and um, put that little foundation sample in there great for that the other thing too are these little um, mylar tiny mylar bags and I found these on um, Amazon you can get a hundred right here with this one you get a hundred for $12.99 so that's not bad because this is heat sealed and it's so easy to do you guys you just put your product in there so what I do is I put the labels on first then I put the product in and then I just get just regular like flat iron I'll show you in just a minute how to do that and you just seal it you just seal the bottom of it and it seals it right shut and then you can see with this one right here this is the um, Renew Cream that I was talking about, the Ageless Renewal Cream. And it's the one that has the youth molecule in it. So, man, everybody wants that. They want that youth molecule. They want that, that age reversing in there. They want to be able to, you know, not only reverse aging, but slow down the process of aging with that. Tepranone is in there, and that is known as the youth molecule, and we have that. So let me show you what that looks like. So, um, hold on just a second. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Hello. <laughs> All right, so this is another, this is a four by four um, little Ziploc bag that, again, I got from the, um, you know, the chef store, the restaurant supply store. So in this bag, I have, and I'm going to be sharing this with you. We're going to be seeing these things come up 
um, I'll be adding them <coughs> to our Facebook page and also on our team site, which I'm about ready to share with you. We'll be sharing that very soon. So what I have here in that bag is a little information sheet with a sample. So you can see there it says a right on there. Are we gonna focus? Ageless Renewal Cream. And right at the up at the top you see that I put my address label at the top too. And these documents that you're going to find in there, I just used that as an example today, but you're going to be able to edit that if you want to and put your contact information on there before you ever print it out. You don't have to do that extra step. So you can edit it, you can put your contact information in there. But then this unfolds, you just, you know, accordion that up like that. It unfolds and it has all the product information on there. It has the how-to on it and all of this information I got from our website so that is all you know company approved it's all right there and that fits into that bag along with one of those little samples that I was telling you about now I have these I got these some time ago they're shaped like this you can see it's notched up at the top and the little um, the other ones that we looked at before they've got a little notch in them too, the, the kind of oblong ones that we were looking at earlier, those have a little notch in them also, so it makes it easy for people to, to get it. But you can see right there that that is the Renewal Cream little picture that I have on there. It says um, that it has that youth molecule in it, and then on the back, I put my contact information and you can see that putting that tape over it, you can't even see it. So it's just the clear, the clear packing tape. You can't even see it. It looks really good. And then you just tuck that right back in here. You just tuck it right back in and you're going to put that little information sheet in there too. And you're gonna zip that up, up, and you're good to go with that sample to give out. Zip it up, there it is, and you can take those with you. You can mail those out. Again, look at that. That is a flat sample that can go into an envelope. So that is some, you know, what some of the sampling looks like. So. Yeah, that little um, Mylar bag right there, that little tiny one, it's got a little notch up here and it's easy for them to open up and get into. So again, these are this is what I'm gonna be sharing with you as I finish these, all of the pictures and the information sheets, those are gonna be in there for you to print out so that you can start making these samples and you don't have to wait for me. If you wanna make something of your own up, feel free to do that and, um, and get that in there. But just know I'll be sharing all of these things with you um, so that you will have that. So you guys, I'm excited about this. This can really grow your business. And so let's do this, share this quote, be that woman who decided to go for it. What a great time to go for it, right? We have so much to be excited about and so much to be thankful for with this product line and with this compensation plan, the lives that we can change with the con with with you know what people can receive from building a business with us. And then just being able to help nourish people's skin and help them find the things that are, are going to work for them. What a great job we have. So be excited about what you have. I know I am. And I'm so glad that you are here with me and um, excited to grow with you and to build our business. So let's get it done. Make some samples. Let's do this thing. Okay. Have a really great rest of the week and we will talk again soon. Okay. Bye for now.